Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial and in last tutorial series we wrote two layers neural network model now it's time to build deep neural network where we could have whatever count of layers we want so the same as in previous tutorial at first we'll implement all the functions required to build a deep neural network then we'll use these functions to build a deep neural network for image classification well the same as I did in my last tutorial series, it will be cats versus dogs. So in this tutorial series, I will use non-liner units like Relu to improve our model. And our deep neural network model will be built in a way that we could easily define deep layers that our model would be easy to use. So it will be easy to change how many deep layers it has. So what uh, before the uh, Continuing to this tutorial, I must mention that this is continuation tutorial of my one hidden layer neural network tutorial. So I will use same data set and if you are seeing this tutorial first time, cats vs dogs data set you can get from my GitHub page. I'll add this on my description. And if you don't know how to use data set, well check my previous tutorials, this would be much easier for me. Uh, same as in previous tutorial, to build deep neural networks and we'll be implementing several helper functions. These helper functions will be used to build a two layers neural network and I can say L layer neural network. In each small helper function we'll implement, uh, I will try to give you a detailed explanation. What we'll do in this tutorial will be well, there will be a lot of steps, so at first we'll initialize the parameters for our two-layer neural networks and then we'll implement the forward propagation model. Well, it's shown here in uh, this figure. This is forward propagation model. So we'll complete the linear forward part. We'll write the activation function, relu forward, and of course sigmoid. We'll combine the these two steps into a new linear activation forward function and of course we'll stock the linear real forward function well l minus one times it depends on how deep our layer will be and after that we'll compute the loss and then we'll implement the backward propagation model and this is denoted by red color and then we'll complete the linear part of our layers backward propagation just like linear backward and we'll write the gradient of the activate function so we'll be relu backward and of course sigmoid backward and com we will combine these two steps into a new linear activation backward function so we'll stack a uh, linear ReLU backward L minus one times and we'll add a uh, linear sigmoid backward in a new uh, modal function. And then finally the same as we did before we use to update our parameters. And then we train our model and we predict. So it, it sounds quite easily. So you'll see that for every forward function there will be a corresponding backward function that is why at every step of our forward module we'll be storing some values in cache uh, the cache values will be useful for computing gradients and in the back propagation module we will then use the cache to calculate the gradients so in this tutorial series i will show you exactly how to carry out each of these steps and I'll try to do this as detailed as possible. So I'll begin with parameter initialization, the same as before. And I will write two helper functions that will initialize the parameters for our module. The first function will be used to initialize two model layers as we did in my before tutorial series with one hidden layer. And the second will generalize the initialization process for deep network. So, uh, not to rewrite everything from scratch, I will just copy my function from my last tutorial series. And if you don't know where to find it, I'll add the link in my description. 
so I'm copying it here and of course uh, at first to test it out we'll need a numpy library so import numpy as np so this is quite easy as you can see we declare input layer hide hidden layer and out layer so parameters installation for a deep deeper layer neural network is more complicated because there are many more weights matrices and bias vectors so when we complete our initialized parameters deep function we should make sure that our dimensions match between each layer so how our dimensions will look so here is the example of our deep neural network so for example if this is our first layer there is a number of neural network units in layer l so for example if our data set had uh, something like 6002 examples and 12,000 of inputs so our neural network will be n1 will be the input to second layer n2 is to third layer and so on and as you can see that this is the our activation function how we compute it it's not so difficult and here as you can see there how we initialize the weights is that at first it was our next layer and then it was our before layer input layer so we could say that output layer and input layer output input so well it's not that difficult to understand later you'll see so uh, I should remind you that when we compute the this math w multiplied by x plus b on Python it carries out broadcasting so for example if our values would be w x and b so this is a uh, three by three arrays and so when we are computing them our result will be like this because well this is a matrix multiplication if you don't, didn't heard about that well you can check my previous tutorials or, or just read it on my text version tutorial i'll have it more detailed i'll post it more detailed there so what we'll do to implement initialization function for a deep neural network so the shortly talking the mondo structure will be uh, linear relu multiplied l minus one times and the last layer will be linear sigmoid well in our example it will have deep layers using our relu activation function followed by out layer with sigmoid activation function but well you can use whatever you want you can use sigmoid tangent and softmax at the last layer it's up to you same as before we'll use random initialization for the weight matrices same as before here and we'll use zero initialization the same as it was here for our bias and well actually we can start writing our function and we'll see that it's not that difficult so what I'll do first I'll define a new function and I'll call it deep and what the input is layer dimensions actually will be what I'll do is I'll define our dictionary the dictionary will be the same as before sorry not that oh sorry so it will be something like that so at first what we'll need to do is we need to get a number of layers in our network so well we'll use a layers dimension to get a length of it and this is will be a simply a Python array it's a list con containing the dimensions of each layer in our network and then what we'll do is we'll use a for loop so for L in range it will be from 1 
to our L layer just like that and here we will use a different technique so that we'll, we'll, we could use any deep layer networks we want so before it was done like that okay I'll just copy and right now we will just add something to it so it will be uh, right now it will be a, a array list with W and I'll that add it here like that and we add a string to it of our L so this is our string so for example it will be W1 and W2, W3, whatever we want doesn't matter and here will be our dictionary parameters so as before it was a hidden layer in a input layer so what we do is we copy this and here is the will be the same our layer dimensions so this will be our L and keep in mind this is not one it's L and R and here is will be our L minus one, so it will it will be layered before. So uh, that's it. That's it. We wrote uh, it for parameters, and now we'll just do the same for our bias. So it it will be B, and here I'll just add a numpy zeros and layered layers dimension of one just like that and and we just use our return parameters I can add one more tab here so that's it it's all more functions for deep parameters initialization so right now what we can do we can test it out how it works well we will see what we have there and so on so I'll just write our uh, parameters will be equal to initialize parameters deep just like that and yeah and here for example we'll have uh, four five and three layers it will be well this is only with one hidden layer it doesn't matter right now but I would like to use it for my test version so I can show you how it works and here will be I w1 for example and here will be parameters of something inside of here so w1 also and okay I'll just copy this w2 w2 b b and here will be our b so yeah that's it we can test it out okay I'll make it a little bigger that you could see as you can see here is our W1 P1 W2 and B2 everything works just fine and as we have declared here there was four five and three layers so here is four here is uh, five and there is a uh, output for example 3 so here is a uh, 3 earlys and here was a uh, 5 so it's 5 here in column and so on and well it, as you can see it's work okay and now we can try to do it a little deeper and we'll see what we can do it for so for example I'll add one more layer and I should add one more uh, parameters here to print so it will be third parameter just like that and let's build this and let's see what we have here so yeah it's WT everything is just fine here so as you can see it's working and yeah we wrote a simple script now with to initialize parameters so 
In our first deep learning tutorial, we defined our model structure and steps we need to do to achieve our full model and to develop it. So we finished the first steps to initialize deep network parameters. We tried to initialize neural networks with one hidden layer and two hidden layers. Everything works fine. So in next tutorial, we'll start building a forward propagation function. And for this tutorial, that's it. So thank you all for watching. Hope this was useful for you. And of course, like my video, subscribe my channel. I'll keep following my tutorials. I'll well, I'll keep doing a uh, step by step so you could learn everything deeper and better. So that's my motto. Okay, see you next time.